Yo what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to the 19th video tutorial of the web development course wherein we have developed a complete bootstrap website which is a portfolio website from scratch and in this video tutorial we are going to be practically going to understand how you can make this website live so if you've been following this entire playlist up until now we've completely developed our website but right now it is running on our local host that is it is not yet made live onto a live server and in the previous video tutorial of this playlist we discussed the concept of web hosting what is a server how to make a website live and we theoretically understood the two most important things that we need to make our website live and basically we need a server space and a domain name so if you have missed the previous video do check it out if you are a beginner i think you should check that video out and if you've already seen all the previous video tutorials we already have a website completely developed and in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you live a free way in order to host your website onto a server and this service is provided by 000 web host so this is a free solution there is also a paid way which if you guys want i can show you with another company like godaddy or big rock but that would be costly and if you are a beginner obviously you want to test your website first at least for a free period of time right so this is the solution to go ahead with so quickly open up your browser and go to this website i'll drop the link in the video description so it's 000 webhost.com now this is a company which provides free web hosting so zero cost website hosting with no ads basically and you can just sign up for free so i have already made an account so you can click on free sign up you have to enter your email and password and a website name of your choice or you can sign up with google or facebook and once you sign up you will be getting a link on your email address for verification of your account and once you verify that then your account is active and then you just have to log in i have already done that process so i'm not going to go into that details if you want you can read about this 000 web host as a company what it does just go on to their home page and just scroll down you can understand what they do and how they provide free hosting and what not we are not going to get into a lot of theory we want to see how practically we can make our website live so let me just first show you our website what we have developed so far so coming to the code there is one small change that i have made in this video so remember the default.html page i have changed the name to index.html and i'll tell you why i have done that as we move ahead apart from that everything is the same so coming to the code i have changed all the default.html links in the href tag as index.html so you have to make that change everywhere in all pages in the navigation especially so just do that one thing and then you are good to go if not i will drop the entire website code in the video description also as i have already done in all the previous video tutorials so you can go ahead and download this project code also so now let's come to the website again so coming to the website just log in with your account i have already as i mentioned made a account and i'm just going to directly log in so once you log in this is the interface that you will be shown and you can see there is a plus icon which means you can add a new website over here so basically when you click on this a new server space will be allocated to you now a quick disclaimer before we move ahead sometimes this web page doesn't load up and sometimes there is a small error message coming over here which says connecting to the server and sometimes the web page also hangs now the reason is because this is a free service and when it comes to free there are some drawbacks always right there are some caveats there are some problems that come across when you go ahead with free stuff and it applies to this also so even though this is a very trusted free web solution web hosting solution it is not really perfect so you might have to refresh your page or you might have to visit it again later in time so basically this is the third time i'm making this video in fact i was trying to shoot this video yesterday and this web page was not loading at all so that's a problem that we face a lot of times anyways moving ahead so this is how the interface will look like just click on this plus icon and then you'll have this message box which says you have to give the website name which is optional and then they'll also give you a password make sure you copy paste this password and just save it on a notepad just for reference or you can give your own password also for simplicity purpose i'm just going to keep everything default so i'm just going to name it as ss info solutions since our company is a tech based company that's what we have assumed right we've developed the entire website as a infotech company so i'm going to say simple snippets info solutions which is ss info solutions and let's try to create this and if this name already exists then you'll get an error that this name already exists then you'll have to select a new name and then you can see this progress bar is going and your web space is creating so after this you can see this is the website link that come across and you can see that this is not a proper domain name you can see there are three parts so this is basically a sub domain kind of situation so by default this 000 webhost do not give you a top level domain 
And if you don't know what a top level domain is, I'll drop a link in the video description if you want to understand the different types of domain names. Basically, there are three parts in a subdomain. So you can see the name that we gave dot triple zero web host app dot com. So this is not a professional domain name, right? The triple zero web host people are adding their name also. So you get a subdomain. In the next video, we'll discuss how we can add a proper domain name also to this current website or to this current server right now. But right now, what we've done is we've got a server space with this link. So this link is going to point to our server space. Okay. So on top, you can see there are few options also that are available. We also do get a database. And in this case, it is a PHP MySQL database. But since our website is static, we don't need to worry about this. We get a file manager service, FTP service, wherein we will be using it to transfer all our files which are stored on localhost onto this server. We get to set the web address. We can change the web address and we'll talk about that in detail as we move ahead. And right now we are on build website. Okay. So if you click on this, you'll be redirected to the web page. And right now you can see your free website has been started. And this is the URL. In fact, it is live currently. So you can also open up this tab and you can see if it is live or not. And here you see a message that you see the page because your website doesn't have a index.php or index.html in the public underscore HTML folder. So we have to create that index file. And if once we create that and once we add it to our server, then instead of this page on this link, we will see our web page. So that is the reason why I changed the default.html name to index.html. Okay. So this index.html is a default name which is searched when you type in a web address that is a URL or a domain name. So that's how the convention is followed. So what we'll do is we'll come back to our web page builder. So this is our dashboard basically. You can go to some settings and you can see a lot of things also over here. My websites, my profile. If I go on my websites, you can see this is the home page and this is the one that we are working with and all the other three are actually ads. We don't want to go in these ads things. We just want to go on this one. So just click on manage website and here what we have to select is upload your own website because we have all the web pages which is currently on my system, right? So if you click on this, you'll be redirected to the file transfer user interface that is file manager. And you can also go by clicking on this file manager icon over here. So let's see how that interface looks like. Basically what we have right now is we have been allocated some server space by this triple zero web host and this public underscore HTML folder is where we have to upload all the files, all our web pages, all the images. And then once we upload it, if we refresh this page, all our website will be loaded. Okay. So this is a live location right now. So what we are seeing is a server space location. So how do we upload all our web pages? So coming to our code on my local machine. So right now you can see this is the folder hierarchy and I have all the web pages, all the images over here, all the CSS files and everything, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one folder back. So this is the entire tutorial code, right? Tutorial 19. And these are all the code files. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say add to archive. So instead of dot rar, make sure you select zip file because I tried earlier with rar files and I tried to upload a rar file over here onto the file manager, but it, it was not able to extract all the files over here. So what we are basically doing is we are putting all the files, all these files, that is all these files into a zip file and we will upload that one zip file over here and then extract all the files over here. So instead of uploading each and every one file, so you can go ahead over here and upload files. You can go and select file. So if you go to our folder and if you go and one by one, try to upload this, let's say I'm trying to upload this one. So here you can see if I select this index.html and if I click on upload, you can see uploading 100% and there you go. We have got our index.html, but this obviously will take a lot of time, right? If you individually upload each and every file over here, then you have to individually upload each and every images also. And then there are a lot of things that you have to upload. You have to upload the CSS file. You have to upload the font awesome files, the bootstrap files and whatnot. So instead of that, what we will do is we will create a zip. So here's the zip creation, create a zip file. Just click on OK and the zip file will be created. Now, if I actually refresh this, we've already added the index.html, right? So if I refresh this, you'll see home hyphen simple snippets and you can see the entire page is also loaded. Now, this is a live situation. And the reason why there is no styling is obviously we have only one HTML file. We don't have the CSS file. We don't have the bootstrap file. So everything is supposed to be added. So I'm going to delete right now. I just wanted to show how you can upload individual files. So I'm going to click on delete. So now again, if I refresh, that file will not be shown and you'll be shown their default page. Okay. So our zip file is created. What we will do is 
we will click on upload files we will select files and we will go one step back and we will upload this entire zip file okay make sure it is a zip and not a rar file just click on open it's 11 mbs and i'm going to click upload it will take some time depending upon your internet speed and there you go you can see our zip file is uploaded again a quick disclaimer guys sometimes this file uploader will not work you will get some errors and there are a lot of times when this website crashes and the server is down because it obviously it is a free solution so if you get some error don't worry try to do it after some time or maybe next day or give it some time like give it a couple of hours and again log in and log out and try doing that because as i mentioned many times this doesn't work luckily right now it is working this is my third try actually so just click on this and right click and you can see there is an option of extract just click on extract and you can see define dot as your location if you want to extract compressed file in the current folder so i'm going to give a dot over here and let's see if it gets extracted i'm going to click on extract and it takes a few seconds because it is 11 mb and you can see extraction completed sometimes you'll get an error over here also and there you go unfortunately it got created or extracted inside this folder but we want everything over here outside that is at this directory only so if i double click on it i will be redirected inside so all our files are over here i'm going to select all of them by clicking on this checkbox and you can see this move option i'm going to click on move and in the destination i'm going to click on change i'm going to go one back that is public dot that is public underscore html and i'm going to click select this okay so the destination has changed and i'm going to click on move so all this folders have been moved to the public dot html directory over here so now you can see if you click on public dot html all of our pages over here we also have this extra folder which you can delete because all the files of the folders inside that directory have come out over here so i'm going to delete this you can also delete this zip folder if you want but you can keep it as it is and now let's see how our website looks like so if i'm going to refresh this let's see if it loads and there you go our website is completely live guys just go ahead and visit this link i'll drop this link in the video description and you also check it out whether it is live or not and of course the images are going to take a little while to load because they are heavy images over here but if you scroll down everything else is loaded and or getting loaded and we have basically made our website live there is one small icon over here powered by 000 web host because obviously it is a free solution so they are going to do their branding but that's pretty nice right we are getting free hosting our website is live and we also have been given a free url now this url is not a professional one this is a subdomain as i mentioned and if you want a professional free domain we will see how to do that in the next video but right now in this video basically we have made our website live and if you go and select other pages also you can see about us.html it's working pretty fine all the images are loading if you click f12 and if you try to go on a mobile device you can see it is still working it's a bootstrap website so it is responsive also so everything looks pretty nice over here you can go on the home page so there you go this is how the website would look like on a mobile phone you can check this on your mobile phone also just type in this same url that is ssinfosolutions.000webhostapp.com and you can see if i don't give this if i just give this link by default the home page is loaded that is by default the index.html is loaded now if i had the default.html then i would have have to explicitly specify default.html and that's why i renamed the home page as index.html okay so that's a convention being followed and everything else is working just go ahead and check all the pages now if you followed me and if you've actually gone through the entire process of registering yourself on webhost and pretty much everything worked well for you without any errors then even you can host your websites live and i would love to hear from you guys that this process was successful for you sometimes as i mentioned there is errors that happen while loading the screen or while logging in at times because the server is down since it is free right and yeah this was the entire process of making your website live on a free hosting space which is provided by 000 web host in the next video what we will do is we will actually register a free domain which is a professional domain which will not be a .com or .in domain but since it is a free domain we will get a extension of .tk or some weird extension but it will be still a professional domain or top level domain because it will not have this 000 web host app branding inside it will be like ssinfosolutions.tk but it will be free right so we will try to link that domain with this server so right now what we've got is we've got a server space and these triple zero webhost guys have given us a link through which you can access that server space but we want our own unique domain name but the server space has to be same so that linking has to be done right 
so in the next video we will see how we can do that so far we've achieved the website live making activity properly and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how the experience was if you tried doing this or not if you think this video was helpful please share it with your friends also and i'll see you guys in the next video peace